Hey guys, we're back here in Tokyo. Now this year, actually it's in a different place than usual because of the Olympics, which is coming up next year. They have a temporary exhibit hall built in front of the usual big site. But we are here once again, it's 2019, and we're here for the All Japan Model and Hobby Show in 2019. So let's go on inside and take a look and see what's new. All right, we're here at the Bandai booth, and actually right away I see a couple of interesting new announcements on the banners up there. We got what looks like is going to be a perfect grade, perfect strike Gundam, a master grade version Ka FAZZ, and a G40 Gundam, as well as some new HG Earth 3 Gundam announcements. So let's go on in and take a look. Okay, so first up we're going to take a look at the new perfect grade, perfect strike Gundam, and... It says this is an original kit. All right, so that's interesting. Does that original kit mean it's not based on any of the old strike parts? Now, I got to be honest, I never built the original perfect grade strike kit. Strike Gundam is not exactly my cup of tea, but this looks quite cool, I have to say. I got to say looking at those part the inner frame parts though, I'm guessing this is based off of the old Strike Gundam kit. So yeah, here we have all of the weapons for that the perfect strike. You got the the swords, the wipe the rifles, different color shoulders. It looks quite cool, but it also does mention that this might be a premium Bandai kit here. So I'm not sure if this is going to be something that we can sell on HLJ or not. But we figured I might as well just show it to you just because it's here. All right, so coming out. Actually, this month in October, well, by the time you guys watch this, it's just about October here anyway, we got the next in the high-resolution model lineup, and it's the G Gundam. So this is the first time that I'm actually able to see it here in the plastic. So just like the other high-resolution kits, this one's got that really nice, premium, glossy finish to the parts there. And you can also see the pre-built frame, just like the other high-resolution kits. There's going to have that pre-built frame that uh, was made in China that you can put all these fancy, shiny plastic parts on top of. It looks really cool. If you're a fan of the G Gundam, you'll definitely want to pick this one up. It also has that kind of cool-looking effect uh, halo part there on the backpack, if you can see that. That looks quite cool. It's a really thin kind of clear plastic that just uh, snaps into place, it looks like. So, quite cool. Looking forward to building this at some point. All right, let's go ahead and move on over to the next one. Okay, so here we have the Master Grade Gundam Barbados. I believe this was a November release, although I can't remember exactly. So this is the first time we're actually getting one in Master Grade. We've had other 1-100 scale of the Barbados before, but being Master Grade, this one, the detail is quite exquisite, I have to say. We've also had a high-resolution version of the Barbados before, so it's kind of interesting. This is going to be the first time where we'll be able to care, compare like that non-grade 1100 kit plus the high resolution and then we got the master grade but just looking at the kit here i mean i've built those other three kits the other two kits before too and i gotta say i'm actually kind of preferring the look of this master grade barbatos over the regular 1 100 scale kit and maybe even over that high resolution i'm just not so sure if i'm such a big fan of that really glossy glossy plastic that they have on the high resolution kits although it does look wonderful i just kind of look the, like the more realistic look of the master grade here so looking forward to also building this one this year at some point and they also have here a little diagram on the bottom that kind of explains the the breakdown of the inner frame so it looks like the inner frame definitely over the high resolution definitely over that other 1 100 kit a lot more detail a lot more going on here with that inner frame kit and it looks like you're able to get some really nice poses. This is kind of a famous pose, a bit kneeling down here from the anime, from what I remember. All right, so let's take a look at another Master Grade kit that is due to come out in, it says February. So we got the Master Grade 1100 FAZ, F-A-Z-Z version Ka. So this is based off of that 2017 release of the ZZ Gundam. But now we're getting the Gundam Sentinel, I believe it was from, with all of the extra weapons and the extra armor bits added on to that original ZZ kit here. It looks quite nice. I am a big fan of the bulky suit, so I gotta say this one is definitely right up my alley. Now, I did build that ZZ kit, and I remember it was a bit 
maybe a bit floppy as far as kits goes, but it looks great just sitting there on the shelf just because of how bulky it is. All right, so here we have the mysterious G40. It turns out that this is going to be an HG1144 kit, and it says industrial design version. So a new HG RX78. What's cool about this one is it looks like it has quite nice detail, even though it's an HG kit, as well as articulation. Inside of this booth here, they're actually playing videos where they have the designer talking about all of the design of this kit. Unfortunately, I do not believe we are allowed to record on the inside of there. They actually have the samples of the kit as well, and it looks quite nice, but we can talk about it a bit here outside the show. So, and take a look at this design here on this booth here. So they kind of show some of the designs, design sketches, and it goes over the details as well. So it's really showing like just like the extra articulation that they have built into this, even though it is an HG kit. So quite quite interesting, I have to say. I'm a kind of a, to be honest, I'm a fan of the HGs, the smaller 1144th kit. So I'm really really interested to see how this turns out. If this is something that they are going to end up using for other HG kits. Usually Bandai kind of explores experiences with some new stuff on the HG kits and that tends to trickle down to other kits at some point. So we shall have to see. Take a look at the inside of this flyer that they are giving away here for the G for the G40 HG kit. So you gotta also remember I believe it was the G30 they had another 1144th Gundam kit which was a different style design than this one so I guess they're keeping that tradition of going from the G 30th now to the G 40th I wonder does that mean we'll also get a new HG at G 50th but unfortunately it's not a master grade it's not a new perfect perfect grade RX 78 it is just a 1144th kit so it is quite interesting though all right so we're actually able to get into this booth here and record a little bit of video here so here is the g 40th rx 78 gundam all right so here we have one of the poses that the g 40th gundam can pose into that looks quite good nice action pose so if you're a f if you're a fan of making like the really good uh if posing your Gundams, doing some nice action poses, this is going to be the version that you are want, going to want to get. In comparison to that old G30, the old G30 had really nice kind of surface detail with all the panel lines. This one seems rather devoid of the panel lines. It seems like the focus for this kit is really on that articulation, which is a kind of a new interesting direction for the HG line. Even devoid of the panel lines, however, I gotta say, it does look quite nice.
All right, let's take a look at what they have for Yamato. Actually, there is one new release here I see that is scheduled. Actually, two new releases. This is for a March 2020 release, and it's kind of cool because it's the Yamato kit, but now it's molded in a, a clear yellow. So that is quite interesting. We've got the Bandai guys up here setting up some next to us. And then there's also another set, Mecha Collection set of some new ships. I do not remember seeing these ships released before. They really look like submarines, not so much uh, spaceships, I gotta say. That's quite cool. Alright, so this next one might not be a model kit, but it is still a Gundam, and this is something that went up on our site, and it sold out nearly instantly. This is that uh, really giant RX-90 thing, new Gundam metal structure, and the cost was like Juman, well that's in Japanese, so like a thousand US dollars about for this mon monstrosity, but yeah, not a model kit, just a pre-built item, but it looks fantastic seeing it here on display, I have to say. About the same size as a perfect grade kit, so really makes me wish that Bandai at some point would make a perfect grade kit of the new Gundam. It would be a lot cheaper, but yeah, just look at that detail, quite exquisite. Already everything is pre-painted, everything has the markings already applied. Just you pull it out of the box, you set it up on the shelf somewhere, and that's it. But yeah, just because of that price and the limited availability of this thing... It's going to be a rare sight indeed. I did not pre-order one myself just because, well, for me, I prefer to have only Gundams that yep, I build myself, but still, I am quite loving the look of this thing. All right, so here's one of the ones that I'm actually looking forward to most this entire year, and that is the HG Penelope Gundam. Oh, gosh, when was this one being released? Was it this month? Was it October? It is actually an October release, so I get to look forward to building this one coming up here in October. So... Just another giant mobile suit that I love from one of those alternate Gundam series here. And the one cool thing about the display here at this show, unlike the previous time when we saw it in Shizuoka, is they actually, this is kind of going to be more like the final product that you're actually going to get. And they have it set up with both the giant, like, uh, what would you call that, like the backpack type thing that it has over at the top of it. And then you can also see it, how it would look underneath that giant backpack in just a plain Gundam form. Form. So if you are a really huge Gundam fan, and I actually might do this myself because I really I love do. this thing, I'm going to get two of this guy, and I'm going to display one with just a mobile suit outside, and then I'm going to have one on display with that giant uh, backpack as well. So quite, quite an awesome looking kit. I'm really looking forward to building this one. One exciting thing here at the Max Factory booth is we are getting the Plamax, the VF-1 Fighter Valkyrie. Now they they had this revert, uh, released already with the extra all the extra like jets and the weapons on it, but we're getting just a plain. Yeah, maybe you can see it there over on the side. So this one, this version with all the extra stuff, this was just released in September. Unfortunately, it was sold out already. But it says in tw in 2020, it doesn't say what month. They're coming out with a cheaper version where it's just the Valkyrie itself. So for me personally, I've been dying to build this thing to buy one. So I actually think I'm this is going to be the version that I go for. I'm not a huge fan of the Gearwalk mode, but I really like it when it's just in the regular plain, plain form. Actually, that plain, plain form. All right. Fighter form. Fighter form. That's the, that's a better way to say it. So yeah, I'm a big fan of just the fighter form. So this is going to be the one that I'm actually going to want to buy and build myself. But it is still a little bit expensive. It says it is 1,900 and 800 yen, so that's about $200 for this thing, but it's 120th scale, and that is quite a large kit. 